everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and choosing to hang on with me so how is everyone doing how's been your week so far um i hope you had a good weekend today we're just going to go quickly through my tracking and then we're going to go empty up my purse fill it up for today and i'm going to go through some happy mail in that order well not in that order but that's what we're basically going to go through today so we'll see i've got my no spend tracking sheet ready to go just in case we have some no spend days i think we do actually so we get our usual colors out i don't know what to do for now all right so i last left you on the 15th and then right i last left you on the 15th and on the 16th i did a big spend because i bought some binders from um budget with jessar um yeah quite a lot of binders now if you know i have a big collection of binders i've already got like over 50 binders and we came to that conclusion when we did my money matters challenge of how many dice you have how many binders you have and all that and at the time when i did that challenge which was in february we had 44 or 45 binders i've bought quite a few binders since then and i'm well over 50 binders where they fit don't ask me i have got clearly enough storage one day i'll make a video as to show you how i actually stock all my binders but yeah anyway <laughs> that's another video and on the 17th we had a no spend on the 18th we had a no spend and then on friday we did some groceries um spend and we have now got 52 pounds 46 we'll just go through that um i got the envelope next to me and then on saturday which was the 20th i did a big spend so what it is is i don't know if you guys are the same so i have like five areas in my life that i like to look after or kind of like take care of which is one of them is obviously my finances which is my budget then I have my self-care. Then I have my fitness, which is like going to the gym and eating well and stuff like that. Then I have my skincare. Then I have my hair, right? So now I've always been very lazy when it comes to certain things. So I kind of find I can't look after all five at the same time. So if I'm doing well in my budget, like in my finances, um, I'm probably doing well. And then I have my spiritual also, by the way. Sorry, I forgot that. If I'm doing well in my financial, I kind of, well, spiritual, I don't even count that because I'm kind of like, that's that's not an option for me. But I have to always be accountable and check my, put myself in check, if that makes sense. And then I'm doing well in my budgeting and then I'm probably doing well in my spiritual section. But I'm kind of lacking maybe, maybe when it comes to my fitness. And then, and then I pick up on my fitness and then I lack on my hair and then my skincare lacks. And I'm just like, something never quite, they never quite go on the same, on par, put it that way. So I decided, I was like, no, Jillian, you need to sort yourself out. So I, I'm obviously big into skincare, but I thought there's a couple of things I needed to do. And I got a kit that's all to do. And I bought some stuff around my hair because I'm very lazy when it comes to my hair. My hair, yes, my hair grows very, very long, but it's because I'm lazy. I just leave it. And sometimes I leave it for so long, I just, yeah, it's just, yeah. So, and then sometimes I do my skincare like every night. I mean, I do my skincare anyway, but I'm talking about things like pamper yourself, you know, like every so often, you know, um, do your own self-care. You don't have to always go to get your skin a face massage or, do you know what I mean? You can do that yourself. I used to be really, really good at that. Now I'm just like, oh, everything's, I think because what happens is I work nights. Anyway, this is about how much I spent. It's not about your whole life, Jillian, anyway. So anyway, the whole point is I spent a lot of money on myself, but it was all budgeted for because I do have a self-care envelope. I have a splurge envelope and I also have a treat myself envelope. So it's all budgeted, but yeah, just saying I had to kind of dip into it big time and then obviously sunday was a no spend i did work last night i don't normally work a full shift on a sunday night but i did because it was a shift swap 
so it's really messed up my schedule okay so we had 17 18 and 21 as no spend days all right so obviously different color green but hey it goes we owe five pounds to this challenge so which i will put that aside and then when I get around to putting my money, counting my money and stuff, I will remember five pounds to go into that challenge. I just realized you can hardly see what I was doing, but I do apologize. I will then change the angle for everything else. We're gonna empty my purse out and see what we have left. So spending is, we got something miscellaneous. We have got nothing in there. And then we got some coins. And the grocery challenge, just an update on how much we have left. We got 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 50, 52, and 46 pence. But I'm going to have to, I think I put on my recent post that I'm going to need some vegetables because... Yeah, I'm eating everything in my fridge, my freezer and my pantry. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I do a grocery challenge every July and every January. And that's where I try to feed my family of four on a hundred pounds for the rest of the month. And that's just shopping my pantry and shopping my freezer. That's basically what it is. And then just using the hundred pounds to top up where and wherever possible. So things like fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, if possible, um, and just whatever else that needs to be done, like condiments bread and milk that's what i usually use 100 pounds for and sometimes i just don't feel like eating what's in the freezer i might go and buy something random so what we have left 15 pounds rolled over and that's it for this week actually and whatever coins we have so that goes into the roll over which is in this one so we're just going to cross out 15 just make it easy so now this challenge has now got all the fives. <laughs> right, we've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So 135. And when it's complete, it saves 250. And when this challenge is complete, we're going to put it towards... Christmas and self-care that's where it usually goes all right so let's fill this up so we are only doing miscellaneous and spending okay so we've got 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 and then whatever money we have we do um, leftover we obviously put money into our no spend challenge which we owe five pounds and then we do never ever ever and then we do our july challenge which is the collab so miscellaneous gets 20 pounds and then we do the spinner with this one and spending gets 40 pounds and we do rock paper scissors with this one okay so that leaves us with 10 20 30 40. let's just do this no spend challenge so we owe it five pounds. And now we have got 26 pounds in here. So that's done. And that leaves us 35 pounds for Never Have Ever and the A5 challenge for July. So let's do rock, paper, scissors. I forgot to show you my happy mail, which I'll show you afterwards, sorry. Um, rock, paper, scissors, we are going to do out of our spending money. If I get shoot, it's an extra five pounds. That's shoot, that's five pounds. Rock, scissors, two. Am I right? No, rock, papers. Yeah, so this is five. So we owe it 10 pounds so far. Let's cry again. So this again, another five. So five, 10, 15, 
den ähm, let's go one more time rock and that's one I'm trying to do this as many as times as possible as so I can finish in July well as much as possible it go this money once it's complete will go into the rollover money so we can add this all up together for the month of July and that's another shirt so five ten so we've got two shirts which is ten pounds two scissors which is 20 and we're putting 21 pounds into rock paper scissors and that will now leave me with 20 pounds spending money all right and then the spinner saver that will come out of miscellaneous Ooh, let's try that again that was a bad one or maybe we'll we'll take it we'll if we get yeah five pounds is actually quite not too bad <laughs> it's meant to be five pounds all right so spending no miscellaneous five pounds going in once this gets to 50 we then put it into that envelope let's try again let's just see mate let's just try our luck two pounds no, oh, let's just put two pounds in. Why not? Might as well. These coins are just going to go in there anyway. All right, so miscellaneous has got 15 pounds for the week and spending has got 20. All right, so before we... No, in fact, let's do never have I ever because I will forget whilst I've got the spider open. Right, so as we are obviously aiming to finish this in the month of July, we've got... We should be finished by next week because there's eight scratches. I kind of know what these last two are because there's only eight. And um, now Kay's scratching what I've scratched. I'm going to scratch what she scratched. So I'll go for the bottom two. No, I'll go for these two actually. Have I ever made up figures on the budget to feel better? No. <laughs> A budget doesn't lie. So why would you then make up figures to feel better? So no, I've not done that. So... <laughs> That's five pounds going in here. Yeah, it's five pounds if you have and 10 pounds if you have. Have I ever skipped work to go shopping? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no, actually, I haven't. I, I'm just laughing because I'm just thinking, why would you do that? You know, but can skip work to sleep in? If that was an option, 100%, I'd probably think, yeah. But I haven't even... I haven't even done that either but yeah so that's 10 pounds going into this challenge so we've got two scratches left and that should hopefully be done by next week right we have now got 20 30 40 50 pounds saved in this challenge okay let's go through some happy mail before we do the last challenge actually no let's do the last challenge and then we'll go through some happy mail might as well just do a happy mail at the end. I don't normally, but why not? We're going to do our collab. And this is a free download, which I will put in the description, in my description bar. And it is done with 10 other ladies. So let's just do this now and see what we have. So how many have we got left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Hmm. I could roll a dice, but I'm not going to. Seven and nine is... What's seven and nine, guys? Sixteen. Hmm. That's nineteen. I'm going to stop there. Well, I can... One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six left, which I have to scratch off by next week, Monday. Hmm. If I just do one more, then I have five to scratch off next week, Monday. So that's 19. 24. Okay, that's fine. So that's the last of the money. We're just going to put make it 25 for now. This challenge has now got 20... 
30, 40, 50, 60, 65. So, okay, so I've got to at least budget 35 pounds for next week. Right, so this change will now just go in there. I don't do any penny challenges or anything. I just put my coins in this tin. And then once it's full, I take it to the bank and change it up. Right, we're gonna go into some happy mail. So for the sake of the video, I've already taken some of these things out of the packaging. So the first one we're gonna go into is, right, these ones came with those, is this one from Sky Budgets. Um, it's a winter warmer savings challenge. I'm planning on doing a Christmas binder, which is obviously gonna go into, um, feed into my Christmas challenge. So it comes with this which I like, it's like a little dashboard. And then you've got the actual challenge, which you, each icon, so you can make each icon, I'm gonna make each icon probably 10 pounds, 10, 20, 30, 60, 90, 120. So not too bad. And then you've got a fully funded placeholder. I thought this was so cute. And then I think this whole Christmas in July has got me into this whole Christmas vibe thing. Honestly, I'm like, whoa. And then this one is a snow place like home. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It also comes with a fully funded placeholder and that actually matches the inset. So what you do with this one, it came with the dice. You roll the color dice. And thank you so much again for the little freebies, by the way. Um, you roll the dice and then you number go to the 11, I mean 11, you go to yellow and you scratch it and then green, scratch it. If you want, it's a mystery one, but if you want to know how much you're going to save, there is actually one that you can save. You can go to the last card at the end and it tells you how much you're going to save. Just to make sure that you've done it correctly, that is one option. So thank you so much, I like this. Reveal a discount, so thank you, thank you, thank you. And she also included a little freebie for me. So it came with a little winter wonga. Oh, that is so cute. So those are her socials. She's on Instagram and TikTok. And that's the freebie she gave me. Thank you so much, Sky. I really, really, really appreciate it. I'm just saying Sky, that's probably not even her name, but Sky Budgets is her Etsy shop. I do like names like Sky, Ocean. I've always wanted to name my child that. Well, I, well, not always, but I always, when I was growing up, I always said, if I have a daughter, I'm going to name her either Ocean, I'm going to name her Sky, or, you know, those kind of names like that match the weather. What do you guys think of those names? I love them. Absolutely love them. This came from, from Javon Budgets. So we've got the stickers and we've got a little bit of freebies over here. So she gave me the July. And obviously, thank you for your support. Little affirmation cards, which is financial freedom and self-care. A budget is more than a series of numbers. Oh, I like that. So it's a little reminder of what your budget is. And then you've got a savings challenge, which saves 70 pounds. And this is the actual challenge that I bought from her. So you got section one, nice and small, but I also got little affirmations at the bottom. Small amounts save daily, add up to huge investments in the end. So you got section two, which saves 80 pounds, but you obviously do it in small amounts. So it's not quite an annual challenge, but it has that concept. So you guys can see this vibe, but I do like it. So I'm going to obviously get a binder created for it. And um, yeah, get going. This will be one of my challenges throughout the year, next year. I do try to buy a lot of challenges in advance. Doesn't mean I'm going to use them the same month. None of the 10 times I don't. It's just because I am planning ahead, if that makes sense. And yeah. And then we have got the Mystery Savers Club from My Money Matters. Rooting for you. Ooh, okay. This looks interesting i love anything to do with plants there's not enough challenges of plants or, or is it just me i just don't look for them all right so we have got 
I've been sitting on this design for a while, but I have I gave it a bit of a makeover. Thank you for your subscription. To say thank you in advance. I won't be carrying on next year with mystery subs. Continue to enjoy saving with love. Do you know, what, Esther, I basically got a challenge from you every single month which to add to my money matters thing. So I will be using these challenges throughout the year, but I am sad to see that she won't be continued because they're absolutely gorgeous, if I could say that. And the quality, obviously. You know, I mean, and every envelope comes with an insert. You know how I feel about that. I love that. So rooting for you. Each shape represents 10 pounds and it's all a plant. Oh, that's lovely. I like that. So this will go into, you know what, G? You, you being naughty, stay there. Um... We'll go into my binder for probably August because I've already got to July sorted in there. Okay. This one I ordered from Mandy B Budgets. No, Mandy B Budgets. So that is a freebie September. Oh, that is so lovely. Look at that. Little fairies. Oh, my days. I love that. And so I ordered the five scratch offs. And they are A5. So you got save 50, save 100, save 150, save 200, and save 250. Oh, I love that. All got different themes. That's an animal theme. That's also an animal theme, but you know what I mean. Little meerkats. And they got under the sea. And then, of course, planets. I love this. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the freebie, Mandy. So please check her out. It's Mandy B. Budgets, Etsy. Right, so the next one I ordered was a downloadable. And this came from CNC Budgets. I will have her the same. So the freebie I'm doing for the month of July is the same lady that done the freebie, is the same lady that done the shop, this bingo. So... And it comes with a envelope. So it's all a downloadable. I just laminated it. And it also comes with a challenge at the back. So that's like odd months to save. So it's not part of the bingo, but it's just extra if you wanted to save that. This will probably be part of my Christmas challenge, Christmas binder. And you save £116 plus. And the reason why you get plus, but she also sent me she gifted me this. I love this. I saw this and I was like, oh my days. So SNC and I just love this whole thing, obviously, as you can tell. So I owe myself. So little IOU cards. So you can either have the IOU or I owe myself. So that was obviously a freebie. Now the bingo cards. They are these. So you get odd numbers. They just tell you what to save. But then obviously the rest will be like B5, O5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you save three pounds, I think. I think that's how you do it. And then you get random amounts like $10, $2. Um, and obviously... It's an American channel, so that's why they got dollars. But obviously, in the UK, we're just going to use pounds. So you got random amounts like these, where you just save randomly. But the rest are all bingo, so you'll have to shuffle them. And then, obviously, just pick a card. And then, obviously, there you go. And so it'd be one, two, three, four. And you save 10 pounds. I think that's how you do it. And three, one, two, three. So what, what happens when you get to free? I mean, you don't you don't save anything. Is that correct? Oh my! I don't I don't really know how to play bingo, guys. G two. Is that that one? G two, or is it one two? Something like that. I'm gonna have to see. O three. Oh guys, we're gonna have to just wing it as we go along because I have no idea how to play bingo. So my self care and my OUs. Probably all going to go in there. Not a self-care bingo. As you know, every Tuesday I do the coffee box. So when my coffee box is complete, I will be doing the chocolate box. The chocolate box was also kindly gifted to me by Alicia. I don't know how and I was like, 
wow thank you I, w I had it in my basket and i was like i'm gonna buy it i'm waiting to complete the coffee challenge i'm waiting to complete the coffee challenge and then she just gifted it to me i was like girl thank you so much so this is the chocolate box it is very similar to the coffee box but obviously very different also and i'll tell you why this one is a big one much bigger than the coffee box you don't even tell it doesn't even tell you how much you save so you've got different types of chocolate you've got love chocolate white chocolate hot chocolate prillines milk chocolate and chocolate mix so every time you get to one that's what you save white chocolate so this one saves 50 that one saves 40 that one saves 55 that one saves 50 55 and then you get the add-ons like the brownie mix roll and save chocolate egg hunt chocolate factory there is another freebie which i didn't print which was the um, i think it's the lollipop sticks i think i, don't, I can't remember what it's called and then it comes with all these cards now this was obviously a pdf i just downloaded it and laminated it got a little iou there and you got all these little cards now i think she said alicia sorry i didn't even tell you where this challenge is from this challenge is from saving with alicia but her etsy store is called a for alicia and she said that if you got all the cards including the bonus cards you got 70 now like i said to you i haven't printed everything so i have got one more to print but I think I will have the 70s. So you obviously, you got the hot chocolates. Every, everyone's got five. You got the pralines. Milkshake. And you got the little milk deliveries. Add sugar. And then you got the chocolate squares. And you got roll the dice. So... And this lady keeps adding add-ons. So the way this is going, I'm like, girl, this is a never-ending never ending challenge, you know. I watch a few people play this challenge. So I watch Rock's Budgets play this challenge. I watch Sassy Beauty Budgets play this challenge. And I watch herself play this challenge. As well as Maria from She's Got It play this challenge. And the amount of IOUs that these ladies owe this challenge because they're quite big, some of them. Some of them are quite big. I think it's hot chocolate's got some, some big, 24 pounds for a hot chocolate. I was laughing. I was like, oh my days. And you got 15 pounds, got two for 15 pounds. See, they're not, they're not 20 pounds for a milkshake. That milkshake better be talking to me, mate. Chocolate mix. And then you got chocolate on a banana. It's like a banana split, I suppose. 25 pounds. So you know, this is going to add up. You know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to trying this out. I think once my coffee box is done, I'm going to do it. But I do love the coffee box also. And I will continue to do that again. Because I do like it's nice and small. But I do love this one because she obviously keeps adding on. And you just, you just never know what you're going to get. So those are the challenges that I've got. And I'm really looking forward to trying them. As well as my bingo challenge. Which I will probably start in the month of August. And all these will just go all towards my goal of saving £10,000. So small little challenges to keep you mo motivated, keep the momentum going. And that is it from me, guys. I've done a lot in this video, which is, wasn't meant to be this long, but I do apologize. It kept cutting off because my alarm kept going on. And then I had a couple of phone calls. So I'm going to try and edit it so it just goes into one. But if you've made it this far to the video... Please leave me a dice to show that you put up with my madness. <laughs> a dice to me is a sign of confusion because you never know what you're going to get. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for choosing to hang out with me and I shall see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.